Hey there, Jeff from TJ here with another deck. Uh, so the other day I wanted to play Golgari Adventures really bad. Golgari is my favorite guild out there to play, even when it's not doing well. Like my last video, Golgari Stomp uh, Stompy, um, <clears throat> which if you haven't checked it out, feel free to check it out. Um, but to try to make it work, I tried Jun Adventures at first, didn't go that well, and then I thought, you know what, might as well try a Baloo out and, and play Saltai. So, I bring you Sagari Adventures. So Sagari Adventures, we have blue in it for some counter spells, uh, Brazen Borrower, Fae of Wishes, All Runs Epiphany, then we got some more counter spells on the sideboard, and Coma as well. So I play it uh, yesterday on stream after brewing it on stream as well. Uh, end up going three and three one with it. Um, I'm liking it so far. Uh, played against Teamer Adventures. Uh, Salty Ultimatum, some weird land destruction deck as well. Uh, these were matches on stream. They're not matches uh, in the video, but um, I really like it. Basically, you do the adventure package. Edgewall Innkeeper, the draw you cards so you cast an adventure creature. Baldur Knight's a cantrip with Edgewall Innkeeper, pretty much. Uh, and then Fave Wish is mostly in your 4A, 1-4 blocker for against aggro, and it's a 2-mana adventure creature. If we get to do Granted, cool, then we're probably going to do Granted for Coma or Allrun's Epiphany or Elder Gargaroth in the sideboard. Um, or pretty much anything. The sideboard's not gonna, not a wish board, really. It's just, if we get the wish, cool. Uh, Heartless Act for a kill spell. Um, it's, it's Heartless Act. Order of Midnight. It's a two mana, two, two flyer. And if we need to, we could play Alter Fate to bring a creature back from the graveyard. Uh, Mystical Dispute, because of the decks running around blue in it, and the, uh, like, Salta Ultimatum, uh, Teamer Adventures. Um, it's been doing okay so far. Raise a Borrower, it's a good adventure creature. Petty Theft is pretty good as well. Uh, Sock Coming, that's just a really good counter spell. Um, so, pl I, I usually don't play counter spells, but I'm liking it so far. Uh, Murderous Rider for kill spell and adventure creature. The double black pips are a little hard to do in the stack, but not exactly at the same time. Uh, we got 14 uh, black symbols in the deck, so I haven't had any problems with it yet, but I'm liking it. And then Love Shark Beast obviously helps us get Henge out. Uh, we got All Runs Epiphany. Take an extra turn. Uh, the mana base. Uh, the mana base probably could be updated a little bit. I was trying to work on that. Um, not 100% convinced this is the right mana base yet. I'm playing two Agadim's Awakening, three Field Passage, two Zagoth Triumph, one Temple of Mystery, uh, all the pathways I can, so four of each, um, Clearwater, Dark Boar, and Bark Channel. And then I got two Swap, two Islands, one Castle Lockwood, and one Forest. So I got enough targets for Fable Passage with having three. Um, the main board, I think it looks pretty solid, except for mana base could be tweaked a little bit. Um, sideboard, eliminate for more kill spells, heartless act as well. Uh, then I got wilt for removal on any like artifact or enchantment, obviously. So like opponents great henge or their ember cleave um, or a crone war, other things like that too. A more counter spells, mystical dispute saw it coming. Uh, extinction event. Um, uh, in the match I played against Team Adventures yesterday, brought extinction event in. It helped out quite a bit. <laughs> because they're all odd costly creatures now it does hurt us a little bit as well um but pretty much if we have like a henge out and we go to extinction event uh this is like a really what if situation we're pretty okay at that point but i i still think it's worth it trying it out because if you play against another aggro deck or a aggro deck and you just they have a huge board set you can't deal with it you at least have an, an answer for part of their board set Elder Gargaroth as well, just a good five mana creature. Six, six, Vigilance, Reach, Trample, um, and the abilities are just good on it. I have one All Runs Epiphany in the sideboard to wish for if we ever need to. Um, that could probably get switched off for something else. Just for now, I wanted to play All Runs Epiphany. Um, and then I got two Comas. Coma against like any adventure deck is pretty good. Just having Coma come out and every turn getting a three, three uh, Blue Serpent. And the abilities on Coma too, it's really good. Um, I really like the card. I wanted to play on the main board, but I felt like we should keep the the average covered mana cost pretty low. Like the average CMC is 2.9, um, but Henge is going to get discounted. We're probably going to put 
uh, our all learns epiphany on we're gonna, probably gonna cast it for fertel so it won't cast us uh cost as much but overall so far i'm liking it a bit but we're gonna hop into some gameplay and check out see how it goes um but before we do that feel free to uh please feel free to uh, like like the video, comment on it, subscribe to the channel, check out my Twitch as well, um, twitch.tv forward slash JaffraMTG. Uh, I am doing other social media as well, like Twitter, JaffraMTG, TikTok, JaffraMTG, um, pretty much JaffraMTG everywhere that I'm online. Um, yeah, so feel free to go check those out, follow, subscribe. Uh, I would really appreciate that. And uh, let me know how you liked the video. All right, let's get into some games now. All right, let's play some Sagari. Sog Sogari Adventures. Let's see how it goes. I like it so far. Uh, yeah, I like this. Um, so turn one, we're gonna make a one one. Turn two, probably drop the two. Playing against Obosh. Adventures. Mm hmm hmm hmm. Um, hmm. Okay. Tap land, make a 1-1. One, one. All right, we're going to do that. Play both of these. Next, we're going to draw two cards by landing Love Shark Beast down. Opponent could probably play a land drop and then the fi their 5-5 five five love struck beast uh, They can go to kill an edge ball innkeeper If we can uh, at least resolve edge ball innkeeper, I mean love struck beast I meant and uh, Draw something good. We need henge. Henge can help us maintain game say I think Like to keep up with them because they're pretty good. It's a pretty good deck that they're playing Okay no blocks. We want to keep both. All right, all right, all right. Um, okay, we're just gonna do that. Lay love struck beast. Draw two cards. Fail passage and sock coming. No attacks. <laughs> the next turn we're probably gonna play the fail passage, and I'm a little afraid they're gonna have henge, and I don't have an answer to that right now. We'll see. Five, six, seven. We're gonna do that just to make sure that they don't get a henge. And okay, we're gonna lose Love Struck Beast. I mean, uh, well, yeah, Love Struck Beast and Edwell and Keeper. But at this point, I think that's fine. They could have a stomp in hand as well. Which so they probably do. Looks like it. Okay, spike field hazard. I forgot, I actually forgot that's in that deck usually. Uh, so with the hand we have. Grab a black source. Let's do this now so they don't get a henge, but they could cast Saw coming on that. Hopefully they don't. Yeah, saw it coming. Eh, happens though. 
land. No blocks. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's a lot of lands. Or tell that, and we're going to pass turn. No attacks. Mm hmm. Let's see what opponent has. I'll wash a hand. Huh. All right. Yeah, that'll happen. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna take it. Ooh, no, actually, I could be dead to double stop, though. That could be a problem. You don't need to worry about Obasha hand. Okay. So we'll cast this, draw a card. <laughs> Cast that. Should have played a land beforehand. Okay. There's a blue source. Let's we'll see what opponent has. No attacks and the turn. Okay. Then attack all. Sure. We're going to block that way. Play Love Shark Beast. Now I could counter this. Which I think I do. They have one mana left. Miscast main board. All right. That's surprising. Just gonna hard cast that. Now I could. I think oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and play this, see what we have on top. I'll leave that on top. 
I'm at four life. Ugh. I'm in a bit of trouble here. And it's game one still. <laughs> We're gonna block that way. We're gonna gain two life this way unless they bounce murder rider. Okay. Trade there. <laughs> they could do Obosh to hand. Uh, when he cast as a three one, I probably should want to go bounce something. Drawing the card there is probably okay. So I could bring Falmir Knight back to hand. I probably do. The two murder riders in hand. Yeah, we're bringing murder, uh, follow me night back to hand. Uh, shoot. I gotta hold up murder rider. I should have thought about that a little bit more. So I need double black up. Three, no. No, I should be fine. Don't have enough mana to put. Yeah, they don't have enough mana. Oof. Oh, blah. no attacks. Actually, no. I probably should attack with that, but no. Probably correct to hold back in case that they have a. Well, there's that. And that can't block, I forgot about that. Three, four, five. Down the one. And game one, I lost. Yeah. And I could reanimate a whole bunch of stuff. Three, one, and strain one. But that that's not enough. Yeah, that, that ouch. Okay, so for this matchup, Namir, Coma, Heartless Act eliminates, Event. Cut Order Midnight. New flyers to play again. Brave from Bower, Gold Fan Dragon, and Miscast Main Bard. I'm surprised about. Might cut Fae of Wishes. I think we do cut Fae of Wishes. 
Go down in Allerance Epiphany. Good on a Mystical Dispute as well. See how this goes. It's taking all their time too. Just fine. I honestly don't recall if miscast is normal for main board for that deck. We'll play first. Um not really aggressive. We kinda have to be aggressive. I mean I can go turn one that as a land. Or turn one land, turn two. Uh, I don't like it. This I like better. For sure. I'll keep this hand. Uh, for what card to pitch? I think it's going to be uh, Brace of Borrower. Turn one, turn two. We got two spells to play, turn two. So having castle with the Zagoth like Triumph was pretty good too. Feels pretty good. They okay, make a 1-1. One, one. At least drawing a land is these. Hopefully we don't lose our Edgewall and Keeper. We're probably gonna play this as a blue source and play Love Struck Beast. Unless if they kill the Edgewall and Keeper, then we'll do that. We'll play our turn differently. Good thing they didn't play as a red source. Petty Theft? Ah, okay. Hmm. Okay. I feel okay hanging on to it now. Tap land. So they can't play a three drop. No, not worth doing that. Waiting is better. Um, I guess I'll get a green source here. Yeah. They do have something in hand. Mm -hmm. They could mystical dispute this just so we don't have a five five. Okay, we've got Drew Extinction event. Could be another petty theft in hand. I would, I would believe it's a petty theft. Okay, I was right. It's a petty theft. I mean, I guess we get to draw another card unless they have a uh, stop to kill the edge and keep right now before we can play any creatures. Okay.
Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and kill that now. I should have tapped differently. Should have held the blue. No attacks. We have an army of one ones. <laughs> Two human, three humans. One's a green edge dwelling keeper, and we got a fall knight. I should have left the blue untapped so that way we can hold a mystical dispute in case if we need to. <laughs> okay. Okay, so they have two mana for something. Ow. Okay, we drew a land, that's these. Uh, I'll play Love Struck Bees holding up Mystical Dispute. Probably should make a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. So, the problem with my deck in Extinction Event is I have a decent amount of odd creatures as well. Yeah, I'll let that resolve. Because I need that for their all runes epiphany. Yeah, we're gonna block that. Hmm. <laughs> See what opponent does here. Two, three. Oh, bash a hand. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just do it now. They have nothing in hand. No, they don't have mana to do anything. They only got two right there. Uh, I kind of want to play this just to draw one card at least. Okay. And we'll do this for odd. opponent have off the top a land all right uh three four five six seven eight okay that'll resolve obasha hand take one
All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> ah, that was a misplay. Shoot, I just misplayed that. Really bad. They have the mana. I forgot about the treasure. I counted their lands, but not the treasure. Hunt. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. Oh, yeah, that was a big pot. And I'm dead no matter what now. Pretty much. Because my one life, if I tack out, they'll just take it. If I gotta bounce something, I has to be the gold swing dragon to get a treasure out of it. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's pretty much it. Like, bounce that and their upkeep, so you have to recast it. Don't get extra mana. That's 10 mana. They need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If they top deck a land. Uh, I just punted there too. Oh, oh, the life gain might up out a bit. No, 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 I'm, mm, no, I did punt. That was a big punt. Because the two brazer bars, oh my gosh. Jarman, I think. Yeah, that's, that's match. They don't even have to cast anything. They just have to send one in. Yep, unless if they punt somehow, but I doubt that's going to happen. All right. Go game. I punted really bad. All right. On to the next one. Playing against Kasiu? Kasiu? Uh, opponent goes first. His hand's all right. Look, we do have black mana. We have blue and green mana. We have a turn one, turn two, turn three play. We draw edge wall and keeper, it'll just get better. Okay, that I'm okay with playing. Nope. Put that on the bottom. So what I would like to find is edge wall innkeeper. Uh just so we can start drawing some cards. They're probably on Naya Adventures. That's what I believe that they're on. That has to die. Here we'll find out what they're on. Could be Gruel. Kill Edge Wall so they can't draw any cards. They're in Naya or Gruel. Grow roll looks like. All right, so if we play that, it's gonna enter tapped. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. I mean, I couldn't murder Ryder that anyways. Unfortunately, 
Like that's the play I would like to do it's because Weird. I don't think they realize that it has death touch. Um, so <laughs> for now, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. All right. Academy's awakening. All right, all right, all right. So I could play the. Hmm. All right, let's see how they block. If they don't block the love truck beast, then we know they have a henge. Okay. All right, let's see what opponent has next. I'm excited to see normal gruel. Like I haven't seen it see play in a while, I feel like. Sure. Okay. Bounce that so that they can't get a henge. That's probably what they were trying to aim for, I feel like. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll play that as a tap land. This is kind of making me want to play Gruel now. Uh, I played Gruel for a while in Standard. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. We're down to 15. We're gonna lose these two. All right, yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. Hold up mana for other things. Like, yeah, that's gonna happen. We get our love struck piece back. They could have another Crone War. If they do, they do. Unfortunately. Opponents four cards in hand. We got all kill spells in hand though, which is okay. Let's see what opponent does. They're thinking. And they have missed a bit of land drops as well. 
If they have a stop, they should take out the one one, R one one. Hmm. Land, so they're not playing Mammoth. They swing both, they have Embercleave. Okay. They're gonna play anything? Okay, so they don't have anything else to play. Alright. So we got answers for things, which is good. We need to find a 1-1. One, one. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Sure. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and kill that. And total, that's dealt six damage to us. Pretty much, because we lose two life from... Yeah. So that does hurt. Uh, I don't have a kill spell if I... Yeah, okay. I don't have a kill spell if I leave that... If I play that. Which, it probably would have been better to play it. But I do want to see what opponent does. We pretty much just have to be a mid-range deck and kind of control what they play. But we are going to lose a total of four. Sure. If they really want to, they could attack in for Embercleave. At this point, I probably will play that. Uh, play a Murder Rider. So that we can start gaining some life. If they play QB, we have an answer. Ooze. They can eat three creatures. Sure. If we find a 1-1, one, one, that's going to be a lot of damage. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. It'd be lethal. We just got to kill. Okay. One, two, three, four. They have priority because of ooze. I should have killed that before damage combat. I should have killed it before combat. Saw so you goofed up. One more thing you can eat. All right. Okay. Am I gonna live? I probably should. Ah. All right. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
One want to be cool. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. No, yeah. Math. <laughs> Quick math. <laughs> that meme's old. Uh, ba 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 So, eliminate Heartless Act, Will, Elder Gargaroth, uh, or cut Order Midnight, cut Fae Wishes, three more cards. Cut an epiphany. Cut our disputes. Sensor gruel. Coma would be good as well. Events really good too. We'll cut our epiphanies. Wrong, but I'm gonna cut Murder Rider. Just no. I better have a kill spell than a bounce spell. So we're gonna do that. See how that goes here. Okay. Yeah. We'll keep this. We have removal, we have lands, we have a wilt. Turn one that. Okay. Petrol innkeeper, that's going to die. No drawn cards for the opponent. And then if they do get henge, we are able to kill, uh, destroy it. But I might just murder Ryder the beast if they do that right away. Look at their graveyards. Okay. Kill that now, so no, there's no Eng. Next turn, we'll play that as a land. Unless if we draw a land. Cloth is this good. All right. Oh, this is a good card. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just play that and hope to top deck like our end or something. Uh, Petty theft is a way to deal with Clothis. And then Sot coming to counter it, but we gotta be lucky to draw those cards, really. I'm sure they're going for a henge play if they, that love truck be slived. Hmm. Oh. 
Both fan dragon. Nothing. All right. Odd. Do they have a stomp? Well, it doesn't matter now. They have another stomp? Holy cow. All right. Hmm. Uh, that's gonna hurt of this. That may not have been correct to do there. One card left the hand. They might just go double Bone Crusher Giant. Sure, sure, sure. They'll just take it. Okay. Yeah, I gotta hold up man mana now for Wilt. I wanted to play Fulmir Knight, but I gotta be safe. I am taking a little too long in playing this match, I think. Ah, uh, not too bad, actually. 22 minutes and 19. No matter what they hit, but they're gonna lose two. What are they going to hit? <laughs> ah! Alright. Uh huh. Okay. On the one, go on to die at one. Uh, go on our own terms. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be on the play. Um, but being on the play now. I still like our board, our, our options for our, uh, from our sideboard into the main board. Um. Yeah. Not gonna change anything. first uh this hand's decent ish like i'll keep it i like having the extinction event i'll do gargaroth is good too 
the gargs. Okay, land. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, starting off slow, I'm just gonna go ahead and play that, like that. Two, three, four, four. the cycle we haven't seen a single embercleave yet from opponent we probably just haven't had it sure Alright, so we get to draw a card here. We got Eliminate. They're probably gonna get Henge down, but we're gonna be able to get rid of it. They get a turn with it though. As long as it's not a two mana Henge, that'd be great. Uh, in order for it to be a two mana Henge, they have to play Fable Passage. Oof. Mm. <laughs> they missed a land drop, all right. Probably gonna take five, yep. Not gonna play Elder Gargaroth yet because of our extinction event. An opponent does have a whole ton of cards in hand, unfortunately. match is taking a little bit it feels like like it feels average but at the same time it feels like it's taking a while so they're missing another land drop It's a blue source. This time they're gonna block. All right. So we just kind of play it slowly, especially if they're missing land drops. Okay, they finally got one. Bounce that back to their hand. See what happens from here. Okay. Hmm. Getting for six here. At this point, I think it's fine to play Gargaroth. I was wait. I think I waited a little too long for that. <laughs> and hopefully they don't like Crone War. If they had Crone War, like we just blow it up, but we have six damage coming through.
sure. So they eat uh, two creatures, gain two life. That turns into a 4-4. Four, four. On our turn, we can attack all. Draw a card. Okay. Cycle that, see what we get. Okay. All right. That I like. Sure. <laughs> and is that game? Probably is. When the opponent could play a Play a creature. So I'm gonna start roping. Found it. I guess they're gonna rope. Great. Or not, alright. They're probably trying to think their best way out of this. I need to quit doing that. I just dyed my hair and my hands are so blue. Like, ah. Mm hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm. All right, so this hand, I'm all right with it. Do we have a better hand? Yeah, for sure. Another mono red opponent. Missing a land drop. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Unless if they're purposely keeping a land in hand to play their room, uh, okay. their uh, thing back okay are they still missing a land drop oh, okay all right I guess opponents missing a land drop I'm gonna play that and then see if they have another removal spell. 
if they got another land drop. Three fast sprites now. Like, I'm okay with them using on that. I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna wait till next turn uh play the other edge wall and play another Balmer Knight. Opponent finally got a land drop. They could have their fourth frost fight here. Okay, it was a stomp. Alright, we're gonna do that. Draw that. Play Castle Locked Wayne, and we're gonna play the Falmer Knight. Get another reason borrower. No tax, because we could easily block that. All right, two lands still. We don't have two blue, fortunately. Send that in for two. And see what opponent does here. They have a lot more cards than we do. Probably wasn't worth countering that. But with how many cards that opponent has gone through. Can't hasn't really drawn many. I think that's fine. Honestly, yeah, I can get away with just playing this as a creature and drawing the card. And yeah, we just keep poking them in the air. And now we got a lifelinker on the board and a death toucher. Rimrock Knight. Just keep slowly poking him in the air. They do have reach though. I just remember. I realized that. Alright, opponent. Okay, you finally got a land drop. Sure. Four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Block that way. We got game one. Opponent got really unlucky with missing all those land drops. But we want Heartless Act and Eliminate. Gargaroth. Cut the Mystical Disputes. Cut Allerns Epiphany. Not one of you. The two Order of Midnights. Um, green Sock coming in. Rinna Eventon. Even, even, nah. We'll leave one all around Epiphany in.
All right, so we got two kill spells, bounce spell, two death touchers. Sure, we could try this handout. Play that. Goblin Warrior. Good thing it's not a knight. <laughs> See how this goes from here. Our land. No block. All right. Opponent for one pass turn. Baseless Haven. Sure. Bounce Annex back up to their hand. Playing a 5 5 would be decent. That was supposed to be a blue source. That was supposed to be a green source. So I just messed up with that. If we draw a henge, that'll be good. Land. Annex again. You kill our Fulmer Knight that, that way, unless you have Frostbite. Sure. All right. Don't need another one of those. No attack, we're gonna end the turn, hold up Heartless Act in response to whatever they play. That way that doesn't get any bigger. You only get one token out of this. Happy to block that since we can't block any. Uh, I'll start now. Okay. Green, black, draw card, another edge wall. Um. Play that. We're gonna hold up. Brazen. Let's see how opponent blocks here. Uh, okay. Surprised I didn't kill Edgewall there. Uh, okay. Umbercleave.
not Embercleave. Okay. I'm gonna go down 10, see what we draw here. Okay. Uh, play this. Play Fate Wishes, draw two. Land into land. Good, 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 good. Have the black source. Have our murder rider up. No attacks. We're going to hold this to block. We do need to deal damage to them, though. Faceless Haven. Ugh. Okay. Cancel. No, no. Three, four, five, six. Is it worth the risk? No. Kill the Torbrain. We draw here. No attacks. Oh, we're gonna hand on to the saw coming. Let's see what they do. We're gonna say no to that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, practice. Black, black, black. No attacks and turn. See what opponent does here. They got two cards in hand, so that's kind of scary. We technically have two in hand as well. So they're going to activate a Haven, it looks like. Ah, uh, they have Embercleave. Looks like... Block there, block there. No, oh, let's not be dumb. We're gonna block that way. That probably wasn't worth it. Mm hmm. Okay, okay, okay. No attacks, we're gonna end the turn. Activate a Haven, probably. Kill the Haven. Plus two plus O. Oh. Sure. Uh, 
I need a total of three blue to do this. Bounce the token. And I should have, I did that wrong. Yeah, I did that wrong. I'm barely alive though. Yeah, eight. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I am dead. Very dead. And yeah, they just need to activate the Haven though. On the game three. Yeah, I think we can keep it the same way here. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> All right, we're going to play first. Eh. We could try it. They're mulling. We're we'll lead off with the swamp. Hold on to Felmer Knight for at least a turn. stomp or frostbite now just to get rid of this bounce it gets worth it for them if they decide to like that that's all right annex See what opponent has here. Land. Robber. Kill the robber. draw better annex or we bounce that draw a card heartless act heartless act End the turn. Hold up both heart sacks or draw a card and heart sack. I 
if they don't have much going on to do that, then I feel all right. Draw one card, we're gonna go to 18. Like we need to draw something good at some point. That that's decent. <laughs> We're in a whole partless act here. Like, we should have a better long game against them. Longer game against them. But don't we don't. Like, there is that chance. Actually should have done that first. We're gonna take an extra turn. Get two birds. And we win. The opponent just didn't draw well. All right, so that was uh, Sog Sogari uh, Ventures, Salt Ventures. Um, it's just funner saying Sogari. It's it's Sog Gogari basically, even though we barely have any green in here in the main board. Um, but uh, yeah, it does the thing that I wanted to do. Um, I do feel like it could do a little better. Like we did get some wins, we did get some losses tonight. It's like with any deck though, but um. I am trying to work on this list for uh, a tournament this weekend. Um, the Insight Esports, a 5k. Um, hoping I could do something with this. Uh, if I don't feel too confident, I might default. I might go to uh, Salta Ultimatum. Not sure yet, but I am hoping. I'm hoping that it can do something. Um, but. Yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun playing this uh, deck of just playing adventures, Golgar Gol Golgari adventures with blue to help support it. Like taking extra turns with a whole bunch of adventure creatures on the board is pretty good, as you can see with like teamer adventures. Um, but like doing it with this deck is pretty good too. Um, and just to access to having black for kill spells, I like that a lot. Like it's it's fun. I recommend giving this deck a try. Um, I will be playing a little bit next season as well, um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Uh, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Jaffer, words, twitch.tv forward slash Jaffer MTG. Um, and uh, follow me on uh, Twitter and uh, TikTok as well, Jaffer MTG. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.